welcome, welcome everyone to Unhinged with the Door Dork. Um, today we have a very special guest, uh, Mr. Ben Williams, um, Director of Product Management. You guys ready? Okay, let's jump in. Wow. Just, just wow. <laughs> it almost takes your breath away. Like, <laughs> Well, I mean, first and foremost, it, what jumps out at me here is I don't even think that maglock that I'm looking at is by definition, one that's intended for outdoor use from the what I'm seeing right now. I mean, that's the first thing that comes to mind. I mean, I'll tell you right now from just annual returns that we deal with, the corrosion for those reasons that I just mentioned is one of the biggest things that we deal with as a company. So I would be worried that somebody's going to deal with frequently having to repair something like this, let alone the fact that there's a lot easier ways, whether it's through an electrified keypad lock that's on the actual side of the door, or there's things like a, an electric strike that are a lot cleaner to achieve a similar result for what they're trying to do here. It's a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah, gates can be tricky to add access control, but there are right and wrong ways to do it. And this is definitely a wrong way to do access control. It just introduces a lot of additional code implications, right? Because of the mag for things like path of egress and then trying to find a button that's weather resistant. All those types of things, I think, are additional challenges you don't always want to deal with, let alone the fact that it's a, a power dependent device. And, and knowing in an outdoor environment, it may be the first line of defense if there's a storm or something like that that's coming up. And do you really want to have your primary gate that protects your facility open wide? Yeah. Um, what, one other thing I'd like to comment on is this reader. The fact that there's non-security tamper-proof screws that are securing it to the gate is a bit concerning. Yep. <laughs> um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to pull out a Phillips screwdriver and unscrew that. And someone could uh, um, do some damage with that reader real fast if they knew what they were doing. I'm just wondering how hard it would have been to get a welder out to like weld a new tab correctly on there instead of... We've seen some really nice installs on gates, this type of exact application, and they do just what you described. They'll weld in a box or they'll cut out a section of it and basically over mold with some sort of like a JB weld, that kind of stuff that reforms a shape that allows a strike pocket to go in and still work in a similar way. It, uh, yeah, this is a, a hack job here with caulking or glue, or I'm not even sure what that material is there. Maybe they're trying to make it weather resistant. The only thing that would make it better is if there was a push button on the inside of that uh, cylindrical lock. Okay. Knocking score. I, think this I feel is like I was one. a bit harsh last time. <laughs> Do you want to go back? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm good. I just... I don't know. From a mag standpoint and just effectivity, if I was somebody owning this in my place, I would still put, I mean, this is still at least a six or a seven for me, not knowing what else is there, but this is, it's not pretty. There's bad screws. Like we talked about on things like the reader that doesn't necessarily make it very safe or secure. At the end of the day, it looks like they at least got it onto the gate. So, and it looks like it's been there for a while. So that counts for something, right? So, yeah. I mean, is it an outdoor mag? Is it not, I do like that they have the security fencing, so you can't just reach your hand through the fence. That's not always the case. So, uh, but yeah, this one's pretty high. It's, yeah. I'm in the six or seven range as well. So I, I love seeing those videos of people reaching through the gate and pulling down the lever on the opposite side or the panic bar or whatever. Um, so I'm glad that they, they took the effort to make this an actual security fence, but that makes me concerned that they're securing something for a reason. This opening is this faulty or knocking bad. I mean, it, it, it's just a concern that of mine that I would want to bring up. If life safety is involved, if there's a reason they're securing it, right? That that would probably knock my score up just a little bit, but not too bad. Okay. Just, it's not my product. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a thousand. It's in a thousand. <laughs> well, thank you, Ben. Mia, it's always a pleasure having you guys on the show and um, join us next time for the next episode of Unhinge. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.